Hello and welcome back to Grand Arena Championships. This is Heathen 13. We are in the final round of the final week of Season 10. Our last round of 3v3. And this round, I am matched up against Scooter Ace 1. At least I think that's the intended name. So let's take a look at the matchup. On the hot pot, I have the majority of the green, so let's zoom in and see what we see. Looking at the stats, I have an edge on uh, Scooter Ace in every category. More wins, more defends, more undersized, more clears. He only has 277,000 lifetime banners, so he plays uh, some of the time. But you can see his defensive stats are 288 compared to offensive 6. 43, so a pretty high percentage of defends. It's my observation on SWGH.GG that Scooter Ace tends to go heavy defense, at least in the front. Looking at our roster breakdown, I do have a slight GP edge overall, but he has the higher top 80 and top 65. We're exactly even on Zetas, and he actually holds the edge on speed. I do have more G13s, but he has way more G12s. And if we look at the mods, I do have more 6 dot mods, and where he holds the advantage, he has more of the high-end speed mods, more of those plus 20 to 24 speed mods. I hold the advantage on all the other speed, but those top ones are what it's giving him the slight edge in top 80 speed. Relic-wise, I do have more total relic levels than he does as well. Let's go ahead and look at his roster to see if there's anything that jumps out at us. You can see he's using a 7-star Negotiator on uh, Fleet Arena. When we look at his fleet, you can see that he does not have a Malevolence. He tends to hold his Negotiator for offense. And then he sets something weaker on defense, like Thrawn or Home 1. Right, looking at his roster and his Gear 13s, you can see he does run Padme in Arena, so his Padme squad is very strong. He also has his Sept Droids and Grievous. He has a Relict of Bosk. And he has Darth Revan Relict as well. A couple things he does not have. He does not have Gas. And his Malak is only six stars. So those two things are in my advantage. He also does not have Watt. But like I said, Scooter Ace tends to set a heavy defense. So let's take a look at the board. He's already attacked and see what he was able to do against my defense and what I'm up against. So he went bottom. And down here on the bottom, it took him two tries to get through my Poggle droids and two tries to get through my Palpatine Vader squad. In the back here, he one shot my Grievous, but it took him two tries to get through Newt. Uh, with Nest and two tries to get through that Mon Mothma squad. Up top here, he did go after a few of my teams. Took him two tries to get through my Bastila and two tries to get through my Night Sisters. He didn't even attempt my Padme. Now, I don't think he's baiting me at this point. It's been like this for several hours. I think he's just done. He used so many different squads to get through everything. I don't think he has anything to beat that Padme team. And the reason he doesn't have anything is because of his defense. If you look on the bottom here, he set his Padme, his Jedi Knight Revan, and his Grievous squads. All very tough teams. And then up top, he set uh, that Relic Bosk, a uh, Basila team, but with Jedi Knight Anakin, a Geonosian squad that has a Relic Brood, and then his Darth Revan. We're going to go ahead and start with the bottom and... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we'll start with the Grievous team first and for that I will be using my clones So we'll just jump into it and see if we can get this done Now again My clones are not gonna get a good score against Grievous, but I have yet to have them fail for me if they do, I'm in deep trouble because I don't really have a backup team to uh, to take this out with. Uh, I should be targeting Magna. 
to make sure that we have the um, turret continue to dispel his taunt whenever it comes up. And I'm about to get the sacrifice. Unless he decides to suddenly target fives, which would be really bad. And I don't have super clones yet, so do I use the the Rex uh, the Rexecute now? Will it be enough to get Grievous down? I don't think it will be, but I don't have much. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Okay, so there's the sacrifice. Now we'll use it. There we go. I think that was a smart choice. Get rid of B1. And now we're just left with Magna. I was really worried that I was going to go ahead and try and execute Grievous without being a Super Rex and fail. So, there we go. 48 is a normal score you get for that. But, again, pretty sketchy, but didn't fail me. Alright, one thing I don't like about the way he did his his uh, front zone here is it's forcing me to use my best squads against him, which is a bummer because if he does hide something really good in the back, I won't be prepared for that. Um, next, we will go after this Padme, and for that, I'm taking my Darth Revan. It's not as scary as normal, though, because he does not have Jedi Knight Anakin in here with them going to do the shock. Oh, I didn't get shock on um, General Kenobi. That was frustrating. So we'll go ahead and fear instead. And fear again. This is not going the way it should be going. Uh, let's drain as much as we can. And kill her with the death mark. Okay. So it's going to turn out fine. I think if he would have had Anakin, it might have been a problem. 53, but not as clean as I would have liked it. And then for his Jedi Knight Revan, we're going to bring in gas to prevent any kind of uh, revives. He will get his... Um, he'll get his savior off. Because that triggers at one uh, but he has um, he has the mark on echo at the moment so since he marked echo up he cannot uh, attack general Skywalker and echo can't lose health he can only lose protection so the more he marks the side characters, the more he's ensuring my victory. Armor Shred, and love all the assists from Ahsoka. And done. Alright, so 51, not a great banner haul there. But we are through and we get to see what's in the back. I have a feeling it's going to be garbage, but we'll see. And it is garbage. They're not even level 85. Oh, well, Chupio is. One level 85 tune, and the rest is junk. So, give me one second just to... Um, double check my squads that I'm going to use up top and I'll be right back okay we're back uh, and I know what I'm doing up on top we're going to do those first I think I'm just going to be soloing all the back ones but I want to make sure I don't waste a, an important character on a solo that I might need to clean up one of the top teams so jumping in here uh, we're going to go after these one by one by one and we'll go with the ones that I think are the most straightforward and then we'll do the risky ones after so first on this boss team we'll go with JTR pretty much the 
very standard counter. Wave down Bosk and pile on Boba. Now most likely I won't be able to get Boba down more than one time uh, before Bosk gets his taunt up, but that's fine. And there it is. Should get the wave here. And he has the double Zeta, so Taunt's going to stick around just fine. Get the healing immunity there. And a second wave clears it out. And now I can go back to Boba. Take him out for the second time. Dango over there making trouble. Stealing banners, but nothing to do about that. And that was dumb. I shouldn't have waved off Bosk. He didn't have any turn meter in the first place. That's fine. I'll just whittle him down little by little. Get our illuminated destiny up. Now we can wave him down. Got the exposes on there. So it should be hitting a little harder. There we are. And we're through. Uh, I think... We're not going to get to another Illuminated Destiny, and he's going to uh, throw his bombs again anyway, so we're just going to go and try and kill him as soon as we can. Yeah, 20 more turns. I don't think it's going to happen. Whoa. There we go. Done. So 52, and moving on. We're going to go after the bugs here. Last round, I had a problem with my Treya. Didn't get it done and that is because Nihilus got killed off too early uh, I'm hoping that we don't get targeted the same way we shall see that's right spread it around spread it around spread the goodness around spread it around I said okay here we go get pain on everybody make him attack Scion get the ice laid out all right so unlike last time, this is going to work out just fine. And again, unlike last time, um, instead of Spy and Sunfact like my last opponent, they went with Spy and Soldier, which... Uh, oh, actually, it is Sunfact again. All right, so they're both Sunfact. So I am wondering if that is the superior defensive al alignment Sunfac instead of uh, Soldier. I don't know. I don't play my Geos on defense anyway. Um, I like them as an offensive squad. Not going to get any uh, kind of health back or protection back. So 51, but they all lived and it worked in one shot. So happy about that. All right. Here is where things are going to get a little crazy. So I have this Basila, Jedi Knight Anakin, and Old Den squad. I think it's going to be pretty tough because Jedi Knight Anakin is going to hit hard and Basila gives all those that protection and Old Ben is there. So the plan is for me to take my Jedi Knight Revan against him. The Darth Revan squad is lacking. It's lacking Basila, Sean Fallen, and it's Malak is only six stars so my plan on that is actually to take my Bosk team in so I'm gonna give that a try first and see how much of it I can get down and I'm hoping that I can clear it with Bosk I've seen some other people do it and it's worked for them and I'm hoping that it still works for me even though my Bosk is not relic that is my biggest concern is it possible that Bosk is just not strong enough for it We've got the fear off there. All right, now let's get our taunt up. And let's start going to work. Let's get a ability block, no. Surprising that, um, ooh, it's not going well, not going well. Let's see if I can get the contract up quickly 
Django's already been down once. Contract's only at 30%. Well, we're just stuck against behind Sith Empire Trooper, who is doing a really good job right now. Let's clear those buffs. Scary and spooky and not uh, not nice so far. Big hit? No, not too big. I'm about to lose Django. Back to lose Bosk. Don't lose Bosk. Oh, I lost Bosk. So this did not work. I guess I was not aggressive enough going after... Uh, anybody else? I was so hung up on getting the contract out that it just was not a didn't happen. So the question is, do I think I can get myself through Bastila better or through this Darth Revan squad better? And honestly, I don't know. I don't think I can get through both of them. I think my Jedi Knight Revan has a chance of getting through both. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take my Jedi Knight Revan against the Basila team. Stick with the plan. Again, efficiency-wise, I am going to win this uh, because he put complete garbage in the back. He dropped a lot of battles against me, and all I have to do is clear the same amount of squads as he did, just more efficiently, which I don't think is going to be an issue whatsoever. So we're just going to go straight here against... Um, Jedi Knight Anakin, get him down. Then this squad is done. Just a matter of time to whittle down old Ben and ba uh, Bastila. Steal all those buffs and spread them around. Mark Bastila. And then we got a couple things we can try against that Darth Revan team. Uh, I'm not super confident any of them are going to to um, win but we'll give it a give him a try because I'm not worried about anything in the back um, at all all right so let's go ahead and jump in here first thing we're gonna try is my crew with what um, I'm wondering if it's better to take in Kylo instead of First Order. No, let's just go with what we got. Let's go with what we got. Uh, tanking tech on crew. And we'll go uh, weapons tech on executioner. We're going to stun Sith Empire Trooper and start working on Malak. Malak's... Uh, Four strain there doesn't do much of anything. Ouch, ouch. But that did. Okay, Let's see if we can maybe get Trooper out? Nope. All right, so that was a, a fail. Let's go Geos. And let's worry about getting um, Trooper out of the way. So he's done. And we'll just see what we can get done. That didn't work out well, but at least Sith Empire Trooper's gone. I think I was just playing it wrong with the Bosk team. Okay.
Let's see if we can use IPD to get rid of Darth Revan. Maybe? No? Uh, possibly? Well, got rid of Malak. Now it is Solo versus Darth Revan. Uh, don't know that this will work, but we'll give it a shot. That definitely decidedly did not work. At all. Ah, oh, goodness. Okay. Let's make sure we have the squads that we can get through the other ones. I'm sure we can. Um, all right. Let's give this a go. And it may just be that, that Relic 3... Darth Revan is too much for me. Or not. All right. Got through him. Fantastic. Six battles to get through that. But made it through eventually. And he left kind of a junky uh, fleet back here. Thrawn and some uh, stuff. I don't care about maximizing banners. I should take in my home one, but we're just gonna take in my uh, separatist fleet. So that was exciting getting through that Darth Revan. I really thought my boss would do better and it did not at all. So that was frustrating. But, um, yeah, we got through it eventually. Let's get rid of Spy if we can. And stuck on Sunfact. And we'll taunt him up with my own Spy. Kill his soldier. Kill his Sunfact. And we're done with that. So 59 and some solos. Okay, his best squad is this one, I guess. So that can be Kylo. And we'll just auto that. Done, done, and done. So 56 for good old Kylo. And the next best squad is, I suppose, this one. So that could be Wampa. There we go. And uh, we'll go with their next best squad, and we'll go with... Uh, Goodness gracious. I think R2-D2 can solo him. That's what I'm, I'm thinking. A little burning. Uh, a couple hits here and there. That's right, an R2-D2 two solo in division one who would have thought and finally this team I would say let's solo with Hoda but I don't think it works that way so Scavere I think Scavere can solo it let's go isn't there some kind of feat for first order stormtroopers or something so we'll do uh, these ones. I'm pretty sure they all count. May I get a feed out of it? Mm. 
there we go. So not a solo, but um, still fine. So there we have it, a grand total of 2432 to 1831. I want to thank you, Scooter Ace, for the match. That was quite an impressive front wall and quite a dismal back area. Uh, but thank you anyway. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And I will see you next season in about a week.